Sometimes he dresses like a little old Russian man. Cardigan sweaters. Plaid pants cut off the knee. Kind of this indie slacker, I don't care thing going on. Like he's barely holding it together. He needs to kick up in that level of maturity and that level of sophistication. What about your commitment to music? I mean, are you, is it something you're going to be committed to forever? You know, how can you stop if that's what you are and that's who right. you are and that's what you do and right. that's all you know how to do? How would you describe your band? Awfully good looking. <laughs> well, we play indie rock. None of us are amazing to behold. If I was in the audience, I might look away a whole lot. We're going shopping up here at King's Road. Mm -hmm. All right, All right. Have fun. I'll talk to you guys okay. later. Okay, Bye. come on, Tina. We got to go. Hey. Come on, pumpkin. Come on in. Now watch your step. Ooh. Ah, this is comfortable. Come on, hop on. Now, what if you were to do something like this? Watch. Take this pillow off and put it here along the side. Okay. Now watch. That could sleep, too. And the other thing that's great about it, Especially for a small apartment, you don't have to open anything up. Right. Which is kind of a nice thing. It's not going to eat up a lot of space every time you have business. Right. The reason that I thought that you would like King's Road uh -huh. is that I think it's a really fantastic mix of sort of a modern aesthetic fused with sort of an earthy, bohemian kind of feel. It seems like it will really fit well with your, with your artwork and your apartment. Here, come sit at this table. This is actually really cool. And these chairs, I think, are kind of amazing. I don't want to give you this a proverbial sort of like right. dining area and, and sort of the sofa with a pair of chairs, because I don't think your apartment can handle it. But also, I think sort of the artist's workspace can be a little bit more... Malleable. Kind of malleable. I want one of the stools to be for you for when you're painting, and I want it to be a little bit more comfortable. So I was thinking of of this piece. It has sort of a klismos chair leg. Klismos? Klismos chair is a Greek chair that sort uh -huh. of was documented as sort of like the oldest known chair. Huh. And that's the, that's the type of leg that it has. <laughs> okay, we gotta get out of here. Let's go. Okay, here we are. All right. Okay, well, this is the Guitar Center, and I brought you here because I saw some of your equipment, and it was decent, but not great. And so I wanted to, like, get you some things that I thought you could really use. Okay. And some really high-quality stuff. Awesome. Yeah? yeah. All right? Yeah. Let's take a look around. Ricky, Yo. Super Ari. What's up? Nice to meet you, Ari. Nice to meet you, Ricky. Ari. He's in a band, and so I wanted to get him hooked up with an amp. Out of these three here, yeah, you've got three different you know, wattage. Small, medium, and large. Right. Out of the higher wattage amplifiers, you've got four 10-inch speakers okay. and two 12-inch speakers. Yeah. So this one, you're going to get more of a brighter, more shimmery kind of tone. With this amplifier, it's generally more bass responsive. Do you like to play? Yeah, wow. play one. Sure. All right. Now, have you ever played through this amp? No. Damn, it's a harder choice now. The Twin is definitely my favorite amp out okay. of these three. I'm going to pick the uh, Fender Twin, because that's the greatest amp in the world. Let's head to a different part of the store. Let's yeah. go to the blue room. Paul's here, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the distinction between the... Hey, Paul. Hey. It's my friend, Ari. Hey, Paul. How are you, Ari? Oh, we're well. And, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. We got a 72 reissue, American-made Fender. It's going to have a lot more of a bigger sound for you. American-made Strat right here. Sure. A little bit thinner sounding. And this is a 52 reissue Telecaster, butterscotch blonde. It's probably got the weakest pickups on it. I'd like to try this one if I could. Sure. sure. Does it feel all right to you? Yeah. Well, it's gorgeous. Cool. I don't yeah. know what to say. Yeah. Well, now it's yours. It's a stunner. We have to start making you look and owning the things that are going to make you the star you want to be. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, man. OK. See you guys later. Thanks for your help. I have to ask you one question. Yeah. Are you excited now? I'm stunned in Florida. I'm okay. just going to be smiling for the rest of the day. And my gear is as old as it gets, and I didn't even have an amp. So right, this right. is huge. My days of borrowing amps are over, but not only that, the guitar is going to make its debut tonight. Can't wait. All right. Yay. All right, Thank let's you go. So much. You're welcome. Come on. No, no, right here. Thank you. Really, Atrium is about pieces. Finding a piece of denim, a woven shirt, maybe a blazer. And when we mix it all together, I think we're going to get the right look for your performance tonight. I, I should probably explain why. Tell me what you're thinking, okay. or not. Well, the band plays indie rock music, and that implies maybe the guy, 
you look like what you look like that morning when you go on stage. The aesthetic is there isn't an aesthetic. And so I, I've always been like almost anti like having a good stage look because I. I you have too much caffeine. Honey. <laughs> breathe it out. Okay. Breathe it out. Okay. It's okay. I'm here. Uh, just a jittery, nervous energy. So you're saying basically that the whole like underground rock thing is that you just show up kind of where what with what you were wearing that day. That's the, the short and long of it. And I guess the older I get, the more I realize it's damn important because you're up on the stage. It's a stage. It's yeah. A show. It's a whole package. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Rock and roll looks always start with denim. Jeans rock. Jeans rock. They do rock. For someone with your scale, right. someone who's a little bit shorter, you're actually long-waisted. But short-legged. But short-legged. Yeah. So what you want to do is you don't want to do any jeans that are overly tricked out. You want to do something that's a regular slim yeah. or slight boot-cut jean, okay? And you know we're doing that Pelican shirt? Yeah, yeah. Just kind of as a joke. It could be kind of fun or to Paul do something, something custom. I like that look. Good, then we're at the right place. Let's get you to the fitting room. Just because your eyes are green doesn't mean that you have to wear green to bring them out. Mm -hmm. Any of these soft colors, soft blue, soft green, soft brown, it's gonna make your eyes and your skin look great. Okay. Now let's put the jacket on. But since we have the black here, a shot of blue here, and then a dark jacket, it's very slimming. You look taller already. Yeah, I feel taller. That's we cool. could also button this up if we wanted to. Do this rock like and roll kind of tie. Right. 